my circle of when today is June 16th. You might be wondering, why are you putting a video out? Aren't you supposed to be in London? And doesn't that look a lot like your room? Well, actually, I'm from the past. Today is actually June 14th. This is all an idea Sam, I think, came up with, where I'm posting all of my videos for the next week in advance under private so you out there watching you'll have to wait um, but then each day if someone can remember to unprivatize on the day that's labeled for that day that would rock so that I'm really not gone for three weeks without talking to any of you guys so today um, my newsletter is actually not um, a news article it's a letter to the editor that was in my paper on June 12th. Wow, really long ago now. And it made me mad. I'm going to read this ridiculous letter to the editor and comment it as I see fit. Okay, I'm going to start with the title. Stop Insanity of Redefining Marriage. For those of you who don't know, gay marriage is a really, really big issue to me. Um, I've done Day of Silence at my school for four years now. Um, I tried to start a gay-straight alliance at our school, but they used loopholes and got a, found a way that we ended up not being allowed. Um, and I really want to go to Gay Rights March this October if I have parental allowance, which is what I'm currently working on. Um, I am straight, but I have many gay friends. and gay rights is a really, really important issue to me. Hats off to Senator Eichelberger for his stance and bill proposal of marriage. Okay, first off, Senator Eichelberger is our local senator, um, state senator, and he holds a yearly leadership thing for high school juniors that I just attended in which we argue about bills um, that are currently going on in the Senate, and one of them was this, and it's... Um, we actually ended up voting against what he wanted, so it was really funny. But it's not a bill proposal of marriage. We already have a law in Pennsylvania that defines marriage between a man and a woman. Um, what they're trying to do in Pennsylvania right now is create a, an amendment to our state constitution that would define marriage as between a man and a woman, um, which is kind of redundant when you think about it, and the only reason they're doing that is so that the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania can't say it's not on the Constitution. Um, yeah, so first off, this guy needs to look up his info. So we already know that he's an idiot. It is defined by a union between a man and a woman. With the increase of single parent families, mostly absent homes, we have seen an increase in gays and teen violence. Um, I have a lot of friends who live with their dads as single parents and also maybe the increase in gays coming out is a better society for them to live in and a more accepting society so there come to think about it there might be more people coming out and than who were in the past so I really don't see a correlation there every world power from the ancients for example Greek Roman have dissolved within and sexual misconduct helped lead the way I'm sorry, but the Roman Empire fell when they stopped their paganistic um, free sexuality beliefs and went to Christianity. Our country was founded on Judean Christian values, and we have seen a turn from freedom of religion to freedom from religion. It's the same thing, freedom of religion doesn't mean you necessarily need a religion and anyways what does religion have to do with being gay it doesn't to continue with his religious theme um, man was not to lay with another man same goes for women too but they have chosen to pervert the law thus it was Adam and Eve not Adam and Harry or Eve and Ruth Wow, that's original. I never heard that before. He is funny. To some, the truth is hard to hear because it goes against what they believe. Because to those who have hardened their hearts against the truth, 
it is hard to hear, and then they become angry. Okay, first of all, his grammar sucks in here. I just had to put in commas about seven times where they're missing. Um, secondly, what annoys me? Okay, I promise I'm not going into a religious rant, um, but no one religion can claim the truth because to me truth is objective. My truth might be different from your truth, might be different from his truth, might be different from my cardboard standing up Legolas's truth. I mean, seriously, I can't stand it when religions proclaim to have the one and only truth. Because, I'm sorry, that doesn't exist. It depends on who you are and what you believe for what your own personal truth is. Um, he goes on a couple more things that are just as stupid and for time's constraint I won't make you suffer through them. Um, he ends it, let's stop this insanity of redefining what marriage has been and always was and always should be, a moral union between a man and a woman. So once again, Willard J. Thompson is just trying to tell us that marriage between a man and a man or a woman and a woman is immoral in his own eyes. Um, so, dude, Willard J. Thompson, I have an idea for you. If you don't like gay marriages, don't marry a dude. It, it's as simple as that. It's To me, gay rights is the same as abortion. What one person thinks shouldn't be applied to the rest of the country. Um, I don't think that there's going to be any kind of m merge of ideas on this because some everyone is so strongly um, rooted in their beliefs in issues like this. But because of that, we should be sensitive as a people and as a government to everyone's beliefs and we should not impose our ideals and beliefs on other people. Sensitivity and love is what we need. I'm a Hufflepuff. It's my own opinion, but... So to all of you who are laughing up in nice liberal parts of New England, Willard J. Thompson populates my county and my town and my school and that's what I have to deal with on a daily basis. Save me. Laurel out.